I'm PTO Goose. This is SFS Mag One. I'm here with PTO Paula. Okay. And how old are you, Paula? Um, I'm 18. Okay. Okay. Where you from? Chicago, Illinois. Okay. South Side. How you like living in Chicago? I like Chicago. I don't think I would ever leave, or like I would always come back. Like I love my city. I love the hoods, the nice places, all that. I just love my city. The culture is nice. And how was your childhood in Chicago? Like growing up, what were some activities like doing? Were you always into rapping and music? Well, really growing up, I loved to play basketball. That was kind of my first love. Um, my brother used to play. He used to play. And just watching him play, we used to go to his games. And that would make me want to play because like, they used to be making them signs, stuff like that. I wanted to get in on that action calendar, so when my time came, I was ready to ball, but um, you know how they go in Chicago. Like, I didn't know. I kind of went to school in the neighborhood. Like, it was mixed, and like, I was playing kids who wasn't as good as me. You get what I'm saying? But once I kind of got into the inner city hoops, it's like I wasn't really making the team. Um, but music, that kind of just came later on. Okay. And what are some of your musical influences? Like, what do you like to listen to? Well, I like to listen to different types of music. Mainly rap, though. Um, like, I'm from Chicago, once again. So, basically, Chief Keef. I messed with Chief Keef. I was just spinning back some of his old tapes that finally rolled into. It's not everybody's favorite, but I like how he tried to change it up on that tape. I like Juice World. Um, I think he's just one of the best artists, probably to live, just to come out his flows and just the different things he says because he's the only person that could pull it off. He kind of just give me the courage to say I could go on any beat and say almost anything as long as it's clever and sound good. Okay. And um, what you got in the works right now? Any music videos? You got any song releases you're thinking about? Projects? Or you just planning ahead for the future? Well, right now I'm kind of just planning ahead for the future. I got a number of songs recorded, probably like 15. I'm working on this project called Collateral Damage. Um, it's just about the things that I have to kind of persevere through throughout my life. You know, I lost a number of people, my, my grandmother, my father, my cousin. Um, the first song I made, it was dedicated to my father. Um, I think it was called, it was just a freestyle, actually. I don't even know if I named it. I don't remember what I named it. It was just called PTO. And it was just about my pops because he came up here and spent some time with me during Christmas time and passed away. So that was kind of a soft spot for me. And um, also my cousin, Mook. He was probably the first one rapping in the family, definitely was. And I loved his music. Like, I faithfully played it. His song, he got a song called Reminisce. He got another one he had on the CD called Lost in the Sauce. And like he said, knock somebody noodles back, spaghetti. Like, I thought that was cold, so. Okay. Yeah. And I see you lost um, a decent amount of loved ones. Um, how does that play a part or impact your life? Well, it's, it's definitely tough, like, you know, holidays come around, not as many people coming through, stuff like that. It kind of just, but it just bring me closer with the ones who surrounded by me. And I think it just play a factor because it kind of just make you want to step up and set that example. Like, I got a niece and, um, you know, I plan to have kids in the future too. So it's just like, I need to set that example for my family. That's why I'm in college as well. Like. I just want to make sure that they got somebody to look up to, whether that's with the music, the school, whatever, being an influence, a positive one. Okay, and uh, out of all the songs you have right now recorded, what is one of your favorites, or well, what is your favorite song that you have? Um, I got a few songs. I would say my favorite is probably, I got Darkest Hour. I got... You got to narrow it down to one. I'll, okay, well, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with I'm gonna go with Darkest Hour. Alright, well, um, give us um, a couple of lines from the song if you don't mind, man. Uh, my life is rage. I ain't have a protege. I ain't have a penny. Still had to go the hard way. Did a 360. They just wanna rat the wave. Nobody with me. Trapped inside a cocaine. Okay, okay. That was nice, man. Yeah. Good show. Where you see yourself in the next five years? Um, five years? Well, hopefully. 
like I'm saying, we grinding with the rap right now. Hopefully I could be somewhere just independent, you know, making some music, making some money, providing for my loved ones. If that don't work out, which I see it working out, definitely, but if that doesn't work out, my plan B, I want to be a teacher and work my way up to be a principal. Just get back to the youth. And hopefully I could just do that through the music and provide for the community. Alright man, what you got going on right now man? Any relationships, anything going on, school? Um, well, relationships. I definitely do talk to somebody, I definitely do got a girl. Um just a nice girl, you know. Really rocking with her. Okay. Um, this is probably my second serious relationship. And just learning the ropes, you know, I'm learning every day, she learning every day, but yeah. we definitely, you know, compliment each other. You in school or anything? I'm in school right now. Um, I go to school in Chicago. Okay. Um, got a full ride to school. I don't got to pay for school right now. So that's just another blessing, you know, because if it wasn't for that, I want to go to the University of Illinois, but just too much money involved with that situation. But luckily, he'll write in my hometown. They paid for me to go to school. I don't got to spend a dime. So that's less stress on my mother and less stress on me. Well, anything you want to let the people know before we close out, man? Anything you feel like they should know or look forward to coming from? Well, um, I just want y'all to know that it's a lot in store. Basically, um, this is only the beginning. People ain't seen nothing yet. Two talented young men sitting right in front of you. And we can make a lot of stuff happen. And I know we are. So we just had to shock the world like the final four at Michigan. <laughs> I heard that, man. That's a powerful closing statement. Well, this is SFS Mag One with an exclusive interview from PTO Paulo, conducted by PTO Gooch. Hope y'all enjoy it. Much love.